Those first days in Celieri's bar were slow. I moved crates and delivered messages. The guys busted balls and told stories from the old country. Mostly, we just waited. I got to thinking, maybe life in Celieri's crew wasn't gonna get me clipped. <laughs> but what did I know? You, Tommy? Yeah. Boss is waiting for you. Thanks. So welcome back. It's uh, episode two. Now we're just waiting with That's the boss. Election day, boys. So Tommy, you'll drive. Boy and Sam can handle the rest. It'll be routine. Just a handful of stops today. Bill at the motel was a little short last month. So make sure he pays us the interest he owes. No problem, boss. Don't lay hands on anyone unless there's no other choice. Our clients need to understand that we provide a valuable service. They need to look at you and see Santa Michael. They need to believe you'll protect them. So let Morella stoop to breaking legs. We're better than that. But the bills still do, and everyone pays up. We can handle it. Go see Ralphie about a car. Okay, boss. Ah, oh, Vinny said to say he's got something for you, Tom. Head to him first. Probably just wants to tell you some bullshit story about some guy he whacked 20 years ago. Hey, at least we got a wear hat now. Seems pretty cool. Hey, just the guy. What's up, bro? I saw this. And I thought of you. You ever carry a rat? Shot him at the fair a couple of times. <laughs> right. That don't count. Pointed at the target over there. Good posture, real mean. Now, click, click, click. Bang. Brain all up the walls. Okay? Now show me a reload. I open the chamber and away you go. All right. Last thing needs to be hidden. Stick it in your belt. Good to go. Mm, Extra supports. Get behind some and don't shit yourself. Thanks, Vincenzo. I appreciate it. Hey, the Frank and the boss, Vincenzo. To you. It's Finn. Okay, Finn. Look, you guys need to be careful. Sup, what's up, what's up, what's up? You, you know how to g g get into one of these, Tommy? Elbow goes through, reach inside, easy. And then afternoon to f f f fix the window back up. Watch. And... Learn. You're a regular magician, Ralphie. Mm. Tommy, show me what you can do. You know, it, it, it takes time to pick a lot. Have a good day, fellas. First, we got Al. He runs a bakery on Longman Street. You know it? Yeah, I know it. Al's late again? Seems so. Eh, that's too bad. I really like how it describes as it's like really slow and not a lot of action because like I, I feel like it's like you know as a new guy you shouldn't be like really you know put on the biggest task in the world you know for the family and stuff like that which I think is pretty cool and it makes sense you know watch what we do today Tom when it goes smooth it's a breeze when they put up a fight sometimes you gotta think on your feet sure just follow my lead And I'm sorry if there is any like lag or something because I'm also processing the like first video as of this moment, so it might look a little bit laggy sometimes. Sam, Polly, I'm really sorry. How are you? We're good. How's little? Dear Mr. Bertorelli, uh, this letter is in notification that you are in default of your obligation to make payments on your agreed loan. This amount has been overdue since you know this time. You have ignored requests to pay this debt. Unless the full amount is received within two weeks, I will have no choice but to instruct this bank, this bank to begin the foreclosure process of your home and your business. Damn. That's why I need to you know have a loan then, right? 
so little now. She's turning into a pain in the ass, just like her grandma. <laughs> That's good to hear, Al. Real good. Now, you got any trouble around here? Any punks causing problems? No, no. Nothing like that. Good. So you got the money? I got it uh, waiting in the back room. I'll... Tommy will get it. You stay here where we can see you. It's been real slow this month, Sam. I was worried I wouldn't have enough. Al, I know you'd never hold out on us, but it's good you worried. Where's the so money? Get the money for me, lady. Oh. It's on the table, brown envelope. Okay. Oh, barely have a look. Oh, should you? Hmm. Cigarette I cards. See you next month, Al. Let us know if you need anything. Anything at all. Sure will, Sam. Sure will. <laughs> and give our best to your mom, huh? We're not to be massive, Al. Just so you know. Okay, next up we got old Eugene's place. China store up on Tallow. He's not dead yet? Almost. Heard his nephew's taking over. I wonder if it's the same Eugene. Guy I want to run same. this next place, Tom. His name's not Eugene. The guy's a Chinaman. But it sounds like Eugene. Well, that's what we called him. Polly slammed his head oh, into okay. the counter back in, what, 27, I think? <laughs> yeah, it was hilarious. After that, no problems at all. If you look, you can still see the blood. Poor old bastard couldn't scrub it out. Really? <laughs> We keep some of these guys on our books to remind the Chinatown gangs there in our city, not theirs. But we don't know Eugene's nephew, so he might need reminded too. Ooh. Maybe we need some shooting too? Hey, can you imagine a game maybe like Sleeping Dog? But in Chinatown in like America. That'd be pretty cool in the, <laughs> in the 30s. Maybe too much imagination for this movie. Oh man, I love this like 30s vibes. This is it. I'll cover this one, Sam. You sure? Sure, I'm sure. Uh oh. He's doing the store on his own? Yeah, when Polly's built up a little steam, he needs to let it out on his own. She gotta let him get on with it. It's his <laughs> way. You can hear it in his voice. Gotta let him lone wolf from time to time. Keeps him happy. Oh. Yeah, Eugene's nephew ain't having much fun right now. When he's going, Polly don't stop. Once we were putting a squeeze on his tailor over in Holbrook. Guy ended up in a oh wheelchair. God. Uh, cop sirens. Here he comes. He's a fast worker. Hey, Polly. Drive before the cop show, Tom. The next stop's Bill at the motel. Eugene's nephew's guy's money is ours next week with some extra besides. He doing okay? He's okay. How's the shop counter? Yeah, that's seen some more blood. How much blood? And nothing he can't scrub out. Once he's back on his feet. You wanna come oh, with man. us again, Tom? Get to hear even more about Chinese nephew guys scrubbing their own blood out of shop counters. Yeah. Seems like it's not too hard. Not hard. Kind of not hard. I don't know. Comes natural to you guys. Don't see why it can't come natural to me. So anyone could do this. Me and Polly, we've been working these streets for years. You come in and you think you know it all. I'm not saying that, Sam. I... You've been a day on the job, pal. You haven't seen what we do. You haven't <laughs> seen how we do it. Sam, I think you ought to... No, Polly. 
This punk thinks he can walk in here like a big shot. I put greasers like him in the ground. I think you gotta say you're sorry, Tom. Sorry, huh? Well, I'd say sorry if I couldn't see the bullshit smile you're trying to hide. <laughs> you got him, though, Sam! You got him! <laughs> I could smell the crap in your pants from here. Nah, you didn't get me. <laughs> when little Tony first came out with us, I had him on his knees before he knew I was yanking his chain. <laughs> yeah, you did better. Oh than my god, look ways. at this. It's really beautiful. Jesus. I hate it out of the city. You hate it most places. Yeah, but out here it's worse. How come there's a place so far out of town on our books? Out of town's the safest place for deals. The safest place for card games. The safest place for most of the things we do. We're expecting a big bag of money today. The guy owes. If it ain't big, the boss will be pissed. Yeah, this place is a real earner. Oftentimes the places that get you the most stuff. Oh, the ones most people look some at folks. Twice. Just recently the motels had a new lease of life. Last stop before he lost heaven for rum coming up from Cuba. They drive it this far? Sure they do. And that's how we can sell it so expensive. Bill's motel huh. has gotten to be the place where crates get exchanged. Salieri protects it, but he lets the other families use it too. Even Morello? To keep the peace? Sure. Plus it's far enough away that no one cares. So long as everyone's making money, no one's gonna rock the boat. Yeah, let me say this. Yeah, I'm sorry. The really, you know, you not one for the great outdoors, Polly. He's not one for anything. Indoors, outdoors, in the city, out of the city. I hate it out here. Like when we sit in the field doing some booze handover or something. It's always knee deep in shit, and most times it's dark and cold as hell. That's why it's good we got you now, Tom. You can do all the jobs that Polly hates. Okay, there it is. I really like how there are so many conversations. It fills up like the space in between the drive. I enjoy here, listening Tom. to. We'll be back in a bit. Okay. No smoking. Christ, Paul! Tell Salieri from here on out this place is ours. Capiche? And don't come back, or you'll end up in worse shape than your friends. Get Sam. They're trying to beat information out of him. I gotta get you to a doctor. Uh, I can wait. Get Sam out of there. Okay. Okay, just hang on. Oh, no. There's got to be a way somewhere. Oh my god, no way you can sneak it like Mafia 3? What? No way. Shut up. Okay, I gotta shoot now. Headshot. 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 Just one more. Come on, come over. Okay, I'm gonna come to you. Kind of hard. Okay. 
Got him. Oh my god, Tommy. Jesus. Damn. They really went to work on you, buddy. Christ. Uh, come on. You'll be alright. You're tough as nails. Oh. Oh. Now we gotta find him. Oh, it's counter, right? He's okay. Inside. Then go get the money! I'm gonna ram this son of a bitch! Go! Oh, no shot. Can I shoot? Oh, I have enough. Uh, I have even ammo. Let's go, Sam! Okay, let's press F. It's not going as fast. Oh, I can aim right with this thing. Okay, come on. Go through. No? Okay, I'm stuck. Driving is not my specialty. Motherfucker. That was what I saw it cost. What it meant to be on the inside. Huh. I should have took off there and then. But I couldn't go back to being a nobody. That was crazy. There's a lot of action, of course, but <laughs> I've kind of failed a little bit. You know what? Don't imagine it. Let's just continue. Oh, it's eight years later. So that's how a regular oh, now. worker goes from now we're here. to mob enforcer overnight, is it? Just dumb luck. Didn't feel that way at the time. Me parking on that particular street. Taking a break just when Polly and Sam are coming around the corner. What are the odds? It felt like, I don't know, like someone was watching out for us. <laughs> Whatever helps you sleep at night, pal, but it's a lucky break all the same. I mean, one day you're busting your back, doing an honest day's work in a city that's been trying to scrape you off its heels since the day you stepped off the boat. And the next you're stuffing your pockets full of Salieri's dirty money and lording it over the rest of us. Yeah, it wasn't like that. Back then, Celieri didn't have the run of the city. For every buck Celieri made, Don Morello would turn ten. He paid off cops, politicians, judges, and anyone he couldn't buy. He scared into looking the other way. He did seem to have the city jumping in its own shadow, I'll give you that. You hear anything about Joey Crackers? Yeah, got his name in the Morello file, sure. Boxer, right? Yeah. That's the guy. Tommy gotta had a reason to give out all the info yeah, it, to this guy. Joey was just driving to the gym one morning. Probably daydreaming about winning a belt or something. God damn it! Moron! The gym with your goddamn eyes closed! Look at this! Jesus buried Joseph Dumb. Tom Morello, I didn't know it was you. You know anybody else driving a rare import in this part of town, Joey? No. Well, then, uh, I'm sorry, I, uh, I was driving real slow. You're saying this is my fault? No, 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 no sir. I, I just, I just, I, I ain't never been in no accident. Well, repairs are gonna be expensive. Oh, you're not gonna need that, sir. The tires are just fine. The grill's a little bent up, is all. I mean, I got a cousin. I got. Uh. 
someone spun you a tail, pal. You got an informant right there, says Merle. I made a mint every time crackers went to the mat. That's true, too. And still, Morello left that poor sap dead in the street. Head all caved in. I don't square. Well, maybe the Don knew Joey's career was on the downhill. Or maybe he was trying to scare some other guy into paying up. Who knows? Don Celieri chalked it up to Morello not being able to think straight when he was mad. You, uh... Huh. Have any more run-ins with Morello's crew back then? Not at first. For a couple of years after I joined up, things were quiet. We got into a few dust-ups with guys trying to muscle in, but elsewise it was just the usual routine. We are running booze, offering protection, me and the boys doing rounds to collect small time. But I ain't gonna lie. Most days, we was also having a bit of fun. Okay, so it's two years later, after uh, Tommy joined the family. Tommy, thanks for getting down here so quickly. Yeah, sure thing, boss. What do you need? You know, there's a race coming up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Polly and Sam have some money on uh, the local. Mikey Dunn. That's the guy. He's a good kid, but a bit of a scrapper. Not too smart with his money. A few years ago, Mikey comes to me asking for a loan. He wants to get new tires so he can keep racing junkers out at the quarry. Mm -hmm. I like fast cars. I figured it'll be a bit of a hobby. Turns out, Mikey's a great investment. The kid can't lose a race if he walks the track. He graduates from the junkers to gal jobs, and I start placing a few bets on him here and there. Next thing I know, I've made all my money back and more. Hey, uh, Sam says he's the guy to beat. He was. We ran all the competition out of town. But now Ralph says there's a hotshot European entering the race, and he's got a car faster than our boys by a country mile. How much do we stand to lose? A truckload. But not just our outfit. A lot of guys from the neighborhood come to me for financial advice. They've all put money down on this kid. It'll be like Black Thursday around here if he loses. Well, for everyone except Morello. Oh, you think he's from the European? Oh, I'm certain of it. You want something to happen to the driver? Can't find him. Morello's got him holed up somewhere safe. Besides, if he drops out or disappears now, None of our wagers will stand. Everyone will cry foul, say the race is fixed. What about his car? That's the ticket, Tommy. Ralph knows a guard at the track. You'll go down there tonight, you boost the European's car, bring it to one of our mechanics, and make a few adjustments, you bring the car back. Should be no problem, boss. Ooh. Sarah, can I get a drink here? As soon as you're ready. Sure thing. Your pop you out for the race? Sarah? Where's Sarah? Feels like we're packing this place up and moving it to the stands. <laughs> he likes to make sure I have something to Yeah, do. Sarah's out. Look at this half portion. Where were you last night? I was with you. You go on ahead, Tom. I'll deal with this mook. Polly, he drove you home. Oh, yeah. Christ. That was some night. For you, maybe. Uh, Those rods. Hey, hey. Bona say the time. Hmm. So that's a five, a six. Hey, Titi Tommy. Big day coming up, right? right? You, you, you seen the race before? Uh, kind of hard to miss. Celieri isn't going to let Morello break his winning streak, huh? No, no, sir. Got to send him a message. So, tonight, we will borrow his guy's motor from the track. My friend Bobby is a guard for a little dough. He'll show you where it is and look someplace else while you t -t -t turn the key. I like Bobby already. Sh sure. Then in there is this other guy, Lalo Lucas Bertone. You take the car to him down under the Ju Ju Giuliano Bridge. He'll, you know, tune it a little. Make the race tomorrow more, more, more interesting. Then I take the car straight back and Bobby can stop looking someplace else. But you gotta be quick. B -b Bobby comes off shift at 1.30 and then and, and, and the next guy... He's an ass. Oh, hey, hey. If you need somewhere to keep your motors safe where no one can take them, feel free to use the garage. Carlo finally got around to clearing it out. Thanks. Good to know. I'm in the garage to see how I can feel.
vehicle or aesthetic garage by driving them. I think that's pretty good. Bobby, yep. We can take your car to the garage. Place is empty. Any friend of Ralphie's a friend of mine. I mean, if you got the money, sure. <sighs> Tomorrow morning they start coming. Whole city. They smuggle in hooch. There's fighting. I hate it. Ah, come on. Name a better place to pick up a dame than this place this weekend. Don't get me started. Things I've seen. Never before were my so strangely willing, but now I see what. Okay, this is it. Bobby. All right. So we steal him, smother, and get back to the garage. I think. Ooh, look at this thing. Here she is. 1929 Carazella C series. Best in class. It's a shame you gotta wreck it. If they see this down the road, cops are gonna ask questions. When they catch up, sure. Try to keep it one piece too, huh? So, I gotta be back from Breton by 1.30 before the next guy shift. Yeah, he's an ass. I heard. <laughs> Uh oh <clears throat> Oh my god, I'm driving 18 miles per hour. Let's slow down a little bit. Skirt! This thing's really hard to control. Especially on a keyboard. <laughs> oh, That's crazy. Jesus! Oh my god. Don't turn, please. Nobody turn, please. Oh! Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna go straight past this car. Oh, oh my god. See so fast. Yo oh my god. I'm getting the hang of this. But they can't catch up to me. Look at that, I'm driving 120 miles per hour. Stop! You're here. Just saying, <laughs> I'm gaydies with this car. Tommy Angelo. Lucas Bertoni. Oh, ain't she a thing of beauty? We don't have much time. Hey, I'm a fast worker. Sit tight. Hello, you. I wonder what's gonna be dif different about this car. I have to drive it back to the wish track as well. Thanks, Lucas. I gotta get back before anyone catches on. Go easy with her. She's gonna misbehave. Hey, tell Mr. Salieri. I'm always available for this kind of work. I do stuff for a lot of people, but I always <laughs> know where I stand with you guys. Our cars, getaways, anything for the right price. Let's just hope Celieri's guy wins tomorrow. For all our sakes. Okay. Drive careful. Uh oh. Here comes the difficult part. Oh my god. Oh 
Oh my god. The, the gear shifting is really different. Look at that. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna... Oh, if I... If I get the bar to red, I think I'm gonna wreck this car. Do you, do you see the temperature? I think I can do this though. Okay, I need to rest it. Oh god! Yo, you can't turn! Oh! Lord! Jesus Christ, you can't turn this thing. Oh my god. Let's just have like a switch or something. So that I can actually control this when I'm driving back. And then we turn the switch on when we give it to the race guy. Oh, I just I think I just wrecked this. Oh, it, it... What the hell? What the... What the... What the hell was that? Fucking hell. So as it turns out, it was a bug. And uh, the first one I failed. And uh, But I will spare you with the, oh, the whole driving thing the second time. So here we are. Oh, you're back. Thank Christ. Whew. Good to go. Drives like a jalopy. Okay, let's get out of here. Big day tomorrow. You right. So Sam walks out of the bathroom, and I'm praying he's got a piece on him, because I'm not sure the bartender's going to hand over what he owes. And his two sons, they're inching closer. I can hear them cracking their knuckles. They're both seven feet tall, built like brick shit houses. What were you carrying? My dick. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. This crazy bastard, he waltzes out of the bathroom to start pissing all over the joint. <laughs> really? What, he didn't call the cops? Nah. Sometimes you just gotta make them think you're crazy. <laughs> Tom, you got a moment. Oh. Sure, Frank. You've got a bit of a situation. Is the boss okay? Oh, yeah, it's nothing like that. Mikey Dunn, our driver. Some of Morello's guys roughed him up pretty good last night. Broke his arm, broke his jaw. Oh. Sent him to the hospital. Jesus. Yeah, tough a locker for Mikey. Anyway, you're going to race for him. Wait, what? Frank, Tom, I don't know. There's a half hour before the starting gun goes off, so this is not a discussion. The Don wants to win, but more importantly, he wants Morello to lose. And you are our best wheelman. Otherwise, I'd be talking to someone else. Yeah. Okay, Frank. Good. Rafi has the car gassed and ready. Get to the track right away. Oh, From Europe, man. With We got this. Easy. Yeah, this thing is definitely slower than the one who was driving. Yes! Oh! Get out of here, bro! Don't stop! What the hell? What the hell are they doing? Oh, we got, we got three, we got three laps. What the hell are they doing? See that? Just take the outside. The 
got this. I got this. I got the outside. Oh, shit. Why are we? Why is he saying shit? What? Let's go! <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just crashing into everyone! Oh! Nice. Then we really need to break over here. Let's see this worldwide. Boom! That's pretty good. Let me show you the race, boys. I'm so fast right now. My bad. Didn't mean to do that. Let's go. I got this. <laughs> uh oh. Okay, I still got a lap, so I think I'm good. I still got a lap, I still got a lap. Nothing to worry about. Nope, ain't gonna be safe with me. Oh, he crashed! That guy crashed. And they were much closer than I thought. <laughs> Tommy Angelo, the best driver and best gunman you can find. I love the music. It's just how much of a shit show it really is. <laughs> and my this track as well is really beautiful. Okay, don't do that again. Don't do the same thing again. God, this is time. Oh, that ain't the question, pal. Let's go. That's Sarah. That's where we. That's where our love relationship starts. Huh? Hey, Tommy. There's <laughs> Sarah. Vincenzo. Hey, Tom. Just want to thank you for stepping in like you did. I had six months rent riding on that race. I'd be homeless now, if not for you. I just did what the Don asked, Lucas. Well. You gotta let me find a way to repay you. Stop by my garage when you get a chance. I might have a line on something that'll turn a buck for you. Sure. Thanks.
I knew you wouldn't let us down, Tom. You made us all a lot of money today. Emerald's gonna be picking up pennies off the sidewalk for weeks. <laughs> hey, what about the European? He's probably wearing cement boots by now, the poor bastard. <sighs> Here. You earned every dollar of this. Take your girl out somewhere nice. Thanks, boss. You got a girl, right? I don't want you blowing all that on booze and whores. Nah, but uh, maybe I'll buy my mom a new coat. <laughs> Good boy. Go get yourself a drink. Sarah, here we come. Congratulations, big hero. Nah, I just got luckies off. Well, I had my money on the other guys, so drinks are on you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there. Now you're ready for the pictures. Thanks. And hey, when you're done celebrating, you might want to go find your buddy Polly. He's so drunk, he's gonna get hit by a parked car. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> I'll get him home safe. Oscar out, man. What you doing? Damn, bro. Can I talk to her? Polly and the rest of your pals have drunk through half my bar already. You found him yet? Not really. That's all for another year, folks. Track will be open until six. You remember made that well easy to Tommy. When they start started racing here 20 years ago, most guys did it didn't even make the fulfillment. <laughs> really? <laughs> Magic's in the motor, Ralph. I just showed him where to go. Hey, you seen Polly? Oh no. He said he was a uh, hungry or something. Okay. You enjoy yourself. Hey Frank, you've seen the. Uh... That win just put my daughter through another year of school, Tom. Hey. Great race. Anything kid. for the Coletis. Well, enjoy the moment. But deal with Polly before he embarrasses himself and the family. I will not let the boss's day end sourly. You don't have to worry, Frank. I'll find him. So where are you at, Frankie boy? I mean, I mean Polly. Great race, champ. Hey, last time I saw you drive like that, Tom, I had a gun to your head. <laughs> saying there wasn't one today. <laughs> when our side of town is drowning in dough, that means you're safe. Hey, you seen Polly? Guy soused. Came through walking sideways. Yeah, I heard. Why is he so drunk? Is he not happy? Or is he too happy? Your boy want to race and they make everybody money. Don't tell me you didn't bat on me. Oh, Polly. Oh, there he is. Yeah, I think Polly's big day at the track's over. It's a quack. What does the bird say? I don't know, but the security guy back there says you gotta go home. That's an asshole. You should show some respect! Well, that's true, but I'm saying you gotta go home too, before you resurface the pit lane. Well, okay then. I guess. <laughs> Let's go, Jim. <laughs> oh, I have a bad feeling about this. I'm pretty much sure Sarah is gonna be our wifey. Just don't puke on the car. He did real good today, Tommy, with the the driving. I was right. I was right when I found you. You know what I said? What did you say, Polly? I said, this guy can drive, Don Salieri. This is a guy who can drive. And here we are. Here we are. Right here. That's where we are. You put me to shame, Tom. Look at you. Now you're even a... some kind of race car driver. We all got our... Doing real good since you joined the family, but you know you got it easy, right? <laughs> Me and Sam, we keep the real stuff from you. That right, huh? 
You don't know what it's like. You get the call to see the dawn and your mind's racing. Done some bad shit, Tom. We're all in this together. I do what the Don asks when he asks it. Just like you. You're like me, you can't just shut it down. Blank it out like Sam does. Go home to... <laughs> Whoever the hell he goes home to. Bali, you're drunk. You're gonna have to clam up for your own sakes. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Tom, I wanna go with the lady. Uh, I'm not helping you with that today. Take me to the ladies! Take me to the blue tropics. I don't know. I ought to take you home. The bridge. Take the bridge over to the island. Take me to the ladies! <laughs> Take me to those sweet patooties. I wonder if I can actually take him to the ladies. Uh, home? Throw me home? Mm, maybe... Maybe that's... Yeah... A good idea. Yeah... Well, okay, I'm gonna... Sweet dreams, tough guy. Mm, oh, he's gonna puke. I'm gonna... Yeah... I, I don't feel so good. Jesus Christ, I thought he's gonna puke. Okay, I think that's gonna be it for today. Uh, thank you guys for watching. And now the part is gonna come soon. Uh, as of right now, a lot of processing has been happening with my videos and stuff, so I can't really record that much footage. Otherwise, it's all gonna be, you know, really, really not that good. So I uh, hope you understand, and I'll see you in the next one. Hope you have a great day. See you later.